Police Minister Becky Trele has warned businesses that fail to adhere to COVID-19 regulations that they will face the consequences and even be forced to shut down. That's right. The Minister and Police Management briefed the media on law enforcement during lockdown level one. New Zealand Africa's Dibu Singh Milwe filed this report. As the number of active COVID-19 cases are steadily declining, South Africa is now enjoying the lowest alert level of the national lockdown. The country is not where it was months back and is not out of the woods yet. While restrictions are more relaxed, law enforcement will have to work harder to ensure they bring an end to any behavior that threatens the containment of the coronavirus. Establishment in other parts of the country are undertaking the illegal practice that is putting money before uh, people's health. This is what they do. They shut all the doors, they shut all the windows, and the drinking and consum consumption of, of alcohol uh, continues. So we, we, we want to make the point very clear. We, we, we knock to these areas, but if we are correct and our information is correct, we would not hesitate to get enforced access to those places to make sure that those people are saved. So the better way of not us having enforced, enforced access is that people must just obey the law. On level one, the sale of liquor is permitted weekdays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. No alcohol can be sold for off-site consumption over the weekend or during public holidays. Gale says if the citizens play their part, it will certainly help combat the coronavirus pandemic. As a South African police service, we remain resolute in meeting our constitutional mandate, which is to maintain law and order whilst ensuring adherence to the Disaster Management Act. South Africa may be on the lowest alert level of the national lockdown, but law enforcement, on the other hand, will remain on the high alert. However, the same cannot be said for the other pandemic that has been at crisis levels for years. The minister says police in every province need to work extra hard to combat violence against women. We are aware that the identification of these hotspots does not mean that GPVF is limited only in these areas. This is why provinces are strongly encouraged to look at their own localized hotspots and ensure that victim center services deliver in all corners of the, of the countries. The minister says gender-based violence is a societal evil that must be contained at all costs. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Dibuseng Milwe.